gave myself a task, and that task was to make an entire PC build within $700. And that's exactly what I did. Straight to research. And when I researched, I was able to find out that a 2060 Super for the price is super good. It says $150, but I was able to snag it for $100 and it still has support with NVIDIA. And then I went to straight to the CPU, which led me to the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 with six cores and 12 threads unlocked. So that led me to basically $70. And right after that, I went to the power supply. I don't have the exact same power supply, but it is pretty much the same price. Mine was $10 cheaper. I couldn't find mine on Amazon with American uh, prices since the one I bought was in Pakistani rupees. So this power supply is 550 watts like mine and also bronze certified. And then after that, I went straight to the motherboard. Same with this. It's not the motherboard I have. The motherboard I have is way cheaper without Wi-Fi, without much with the four USB ports and an ethernet cable. And after that, I went straight to the RAM and same once again. I have RGB RAM, a bit cheaper than these ones, but I have two of these, so two eight gigabyte sticks, which uh, leads me close to $50 for the price I bought it. And then right after that, we can go for the case. I mean, the SSD, of course, of course. I got a one terabyte SSD without a hard drive, which led me to way cheaper prices than this because it's not the same exact one I got because Pakistani market and the American market are quite different. But I tried to match it as much as I could. My SSD, I think, was close to 10 to $15 cheaper compared to this one. So, and then after I went to the case, which I got the Boost Lion with four RGB fans. It's the same one, but the one I got it was in white, which I really liked, which was close to, I guess you can say, uh, 40-ish dollars, which is also a great deal. And this makes the total of the PC come out to $450. And this PC can run any game at 1080p high settings, which leads me to my next part, the monitor and desk. The Dell Ultrasharp U219D, which is a 27 inch monitor, which is also at the same time 1440p. And not just that, it's also 75 hertz for the monitor, which can also be used as a straight monitor, a normal, and it has all uh, 180 rotation with also really useful uh, settings which we can color down the brightness and the sharpness and this monitor comes out to $70 which is a great bang for your buck it has a super slim design it has a lot of features in this monitor and I'm going to be posting a full review on this monitor on my channel super soon for a very generic a normal desk that costed me forty dollars so not a bad price for this either the last category which is accessories and for accessories I for the mouse I went for the X11 shark which is a great mouse great durability great pulling rate and overall a good pick and the mouse costed me around thirty dollars which is a super good price and so for the keyboard i went for a random chinese keyboard that costed me thirty dollars for the headset i decided to not cheap out and went for the hyperx cloud gaming headset which costed me seventy five dollars for good sound quality and good mic which is not a bad option 
Oh, the mouse pad. We didn't need to ball out, so I just got a normal five dollar mouse pad. And so there you have it, a uh, under seven hundred dollar PC build, fully in budget. I hope you guys did like this video, did like my build. This this is my main build from now on, and also sorry for all the sound quality problems and the video quality problems i hope you guys do forgive me i'm going to be making more videos like this so stay tuned that's for sure